Francine brought gifts for everyone. Yes, on uh, for our one-year anniversary here on the air, she brought gifts. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Francine. I love you guys. Are Thank you going to be at our Halloween much. party? Yes, That's the I real am. celebration. Oh, yep. our Did Rock you, uh, Cafe Halloween. Decide night. on a costume. Uh, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll be a policewoman or something. Well, the a costume we're hoping that has something to do with the show. Well, I, I heard that too. Yeah. Uh, I'll be a. Who, isn't there Keith the cop? Yeah. Oh, you could go as Keith the cop. I'll go Francine the cop. That would be good if you did a Keith the cop kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I have so many inside jokes I could throw oh, out, sure, but I won't say one. Does anybody, <laughs> very does anybody funny. just know how hot this, this Francine is? Francine is very hot, yeah. Thank she's you. a little Nubian princess. Thank oh, she you. is precious. And she's almost smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, she's slow not, down. She's not too smart? Oh, no, Patrice. No. Oh, that's genius. I just oh. started an LSAT God. course, you guys. LSAT? LSAT. Yep, for law school. Law school. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to go... To uh, law school. Uh, to law school. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's dumb. This is fantastic. <laughs> Beyond dumb. I am. She's not even close to smart. She says she's smart. Yeah, she actually I'm said, sweet. "What did you say about the news and how, how uh, she she comes in to do the news for us, but she usually uh, stays up all night writing the news." Because it's really hard to put stories together. What stories together that already that already exist? <laughs> <laughs> but to make it into five uh, sentences. It's real hard. Oh, you pr you praise them. You you put them. You make them more. Well, oh, you want to hear her news, Patrice? You're in for a treat. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's Francine with the news. Oh God, bless the world. <coughs> we got the teletype or any of that stuff? All right, here we go. A Cambodian couple attacked their 12-year-old daughter in her sleep by biting off her thumbnails and nipping at her nose so they can suck her blood. Cut. Cops in Kampong, Cham Province are confused. <laughs> they believe it was part of a black magic routine intended to chase away evil spirits. A uh, local lawyer says, <laughs> we have no idea what offense to charge them with. Uh, how about stupidity? Because you know what? Silly goops. Sucking blood is for freaks. Goops? Gooks. Oh, oh gooks. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said goops for a second, but I'm in yeah. love. <laughs> Patrice is the most beautiful <laughs> idiot I've ever seen. She put, she put periods where there was none. Yeah. And Cambodians. Is that how you're going to deliver your um, summation of a trial? Maybe your closing arguments in that <laughs> same fashion. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> there <laughs> was a crime. As you can see, my client is. Innocent. But I'm going to be really hot, though. And I'm going to yeah. get to her suit. <laughs> the, the stenographer's going to slap the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, putting in periods. What did she just say? I don't know. This bitch is dumb. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> she actually just fessed up to the fact that she's doing it as a fashion statement. Because yep. she can wear suits. You and can wear you those four, smart outfits. $400 an hour is what they get paid. 400 an hour. Yep. Some righteous bucks. Uh, you better have the Carmen Electra story. Uh. Oh, do you have that one? Uh, no. Oh, I do have a diabetes story. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't understand why we we have people come in here to, to do the news, and they don't even, like, do, like, the news that everyone else is talking about. No. Like gas prices and earthquakes and uh, Iraq. hurricanes and War Iraq on care. And, <laughs> and, uh, the, the baseball playoffs. Whoa. And, yeah. What happened? Well, I have an attorney. She saw it had a lot of words in it. She, <laughs> she just went, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's what it happened. We forgot to tell you, she also does commentary after she does her stories. All right, save the Carmen lecture for a little later when we're, we got a little low Prosecu on the Prosecution adds some new evidence she didn't know about. Whoa. <laughs> I object, Your Honor. Why? Judge. It's a lot of words. Whoa. <laughs> I object to these words. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Francie. Next story about, I guess, diabetes. Sure. Yep. Medical experts warn the average American lifespan could drop by as much as five years in the next few decades because of an alarming escalation of diabetes. Many projections suggest we could be the first generation since the turn of the 20th century to have a shorter lifespan than our parents. Diabetes sufferers, I wouldn't worry, with hurricanes, tsunamis, the AIDS, Towel heads bombing up the whole world. 
And now, Earthquake, I say death doesn't look so bad. <laughs> That's a commentary, Patrice. Yeah. Oh, look at the love in his eyes. <laughs> he loves them He is dumb. swooning. He loves them I dumb. love this girl. Man. He is absolutely I swooning. I just got so much to teach. And she just <laughs> needs so much to learn. Uh, if, oh, do you like Patrice? Precious. Do you like him uh, fat? Uh... Not really. Not really. Well, really, I'm not fat. See, she's so dumb, I can convince her that I'm in shape. <laughs> I <laughs> went out with a this chubby a guy pack. before. You did? How was, How was it? it? Uh, it was it was okay. Well, did But he had a girlfriend, so that was kind of s- interesting. Patrice, what might be uh, more against you than your weight is the fact that you are a black man. Oh, she? You only like white guys? She. Y- yeah, I kind of. Yeah. yeah, she. She was <laughs> raised in a rich area of Connecticut. Really? She, uh, well, I was growing up in the Marinick for a while. But yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been with a black guy? Yes, I have, actually. How was it? Well. Oh, she's tender. <laughs> what does the white guy do that the black guy doesn't do? They go downtown all the time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's, is that all I need to do? <laughs> That's it. That is such an urban myth. Are you yeah, Well, not according to uh, Francine. That's yep. right. And she wears uh, short skirts at work because uh, the boss gives her money. Her yep. old boss gives her money. He gave me forty dollars last week for no reason. Just came up to you <laughs> and gave you forty bucks. Yep. And, and she uh, wears these little short skirts around the office. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at Matrice. I love but it. She, she, it's like she just gave me an in because I I just love. Yeah. He, I love to. to Patrice to will eat it. the coochie. I will kiss it in a minute, pumpkin. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Here's my here's my here's my technique. I take two thumbs. Oh God. Wait a minute. <laughs> I take two thumbs and I slide the hood back. Mm-hmm. Then I hold it. After it slid back with the two thumbs, I hold it with my index finger. Then I spread the bottom with the other left hand thumb. The two with the index with the index and the thumb. I spread that. Slide the hood back, and I just rapidly in in a very just one side to side, very fast, and I don't move. I don't move my head. I don't. I just take that spot, and that's the technique. And it's it's ironclad, ninety nine point nine percent effective. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> no kissing. No moving my head. No finding another spot. You find a spot. Once I know you like that spot I'm on, I stay there. It's all a rhythm thing, and it's all a repetition thing, pumpkin. That's really good. Oh, I'm gonna make <laughs> your dumb ass come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to be smart after I finish. (laughs) (laughs) Teresa's is thinking, girlfriend, what? Then she'll be like, and Cambodians. (laughs) He's going to lick the stupid right out of you. I'm going to lick the stupid. (laughs) 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 They say, no, she's the greatest lawyer ever. (laughs) (laughs) What do they do with the snake snake poison? I'm going (laughs) to... I'm going to suck the dumb right out of you. (laughs) We've got to act quickly. She's infected. Someone has to. No problem. I don't want this dumb to get to your brain. We gotta cut two X's and take your finger and fold the hood back. And <laughs> God, all right, Francine. All right, sorry about that. Good. Let's hear the next story. Patrice's technique is like flipping open a Zippo. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, I saw his hands in his description. I'm like, that's a Zippo lighter. You do the same thing. <laughs> Love it. Go ahead, Francine. Fat chicks around the country. Put down those Twinkies and get down to your local cocaine dealer. Daily News reporter Heather Gillimore reported that in the shadow of heroin chick model Kate Moss, cocaine scandal, doctors for the first time have diagnosed women who they say are picking up a speed or coke habit in order to help starve themselves to maintain a frighteningly frail frame. Uh, I say good for you, fat girls. Finally, a diet that actually works. Hmm. Hey, very good. Yeah. Oh, so at the end, that's her thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a trademark. Oh, see, baby, here, let me teach you. You got to read that as if you are saying it. Like, you're reading it with the same inflection as the <laughs> regular story. So it sounds like that's the story. So at the end of this go, let me tell you something, you fat bitches. Stop. <laughs> like, you got to do something to make you sound like that's your commentary, because I thought you were still reading the story. Yeah. Like, end quote, and then, you know, unload. Well, this is what I think. Yeah. That was what I thought, though. I think they should mm-hmm. all go all out right. and get coke. All right. See, a lot of people want to keep you dumb. I want to build you up. I'm going to build you up. Beautiful. Right. Go ahead. Let's uh, hit another story. <laughs> 
Girls in dire need of abortion, take note of this. Daily News reporter Nancy Dillon writes that Skyatech, <laughs> nicknamed the star pill for its hexagonal shape, is well known in poor migrant communities all over New York as a cheap and private way to end unwanted pregnancy. She writes that an 800 milligram microgram dose of Cytotec, <laughs> which is about four pills, has a 60 to 90 percent chance of effectively ending pregnancy if taken in the first seven weeks of intersection. Lori Kehoe... <laughs> intersection? <laughs> you said intersection? Yeah. Okay. Lori Kehoe, <laughs> spokeswoman for the New York State Right to Life Expectancy, says... We need to tell women that this drug can possibly deform their children. But Education Secretary Bill William Bennett said this. Bill William? Oh, uh, William. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He said, judging by the awful amount of crime in black communities, I say it's a darn good idea to powder this pill and put in all of the colonel's recipes at KFC. He did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So where was where was your commentary? That, that was, was my commentary. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> you listen closely, you know where the real story is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. listen closely though. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> She's genius in a weird way. Like, of course. She's an autistic <laughs> news <re> <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. See, we call her an idiot savant without that pesky savant. <laughs> what is a savant? Oh, oh precious. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> what other stories you got there? We're running out of time. Just tell me which ones and we'll pick one. I'll get an entertainment story from All right. uh, Madonna. What about the entertainment story about Katie Holmes uh, pregnant and looking pregnant? In the New York Post today. I have that also. Follow Isn't she the perfect sitcom black girl? She's genius. Like, you know, she'd be perfect for, for that role. I could definitely see that. And she has unoffensive size. Like yeah. She has, um, you know, white yeah. girl size, so she yeah. can get on TV. You know yeah, I mean? she's not offensive. She's not threatening in any way. Thank you. And she knows the capitals, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. I'm of all the states? Of yeah, every That's state. autism. That, that's one. autism. Yep. Right? Give her one. Uh, New Hampshire. Uh, uh, Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yep. Very good. Again, she hits it know, right on the head. Isn't that amazing? Like, how do you not read the news, but you know Newfoundland is is the capital of New Hampshire. Um, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I did really good in social studies. Did you really? Yeah. Give her another one, Patrice. <sighs> one more. New York. New York State. That's a tough one. That would be Manhattan. Manhattan. There you go, pumpkin. And where else could the capital oh. possibly be? We're here. Center of the that world. Just, just, that's, you're, that's not fair. You're, you're being too easy on her because you like her. All Give right, her a tougher right, one. All New right, York, all right. That's easy. All right. Canada. Um. Um. What is the, take your time, what is the capital of the state of Canada? Well, I do know that they have a Vancouver Grizzlies. As a basketball team. So the that's so you're saying Vancouver, Vancouver. or you saying Grizzly? I don't I just say they have a basketball team. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think the Grizzly is the capital of Canada. It is the um yeah. The uh capital and the state. Oh. And they animal. have a flower on their flag. Uh oh, what, she's Canada? She's mm -hmm. Yep. It is a flower. Yep. They yeah, a lot of people want you to describe intersection, by the way. In that last story, you were talking about intersection. I believe that is when the sperm hits the egg. It's called intersection. At they have an accident at the intersection. Right, and then they, and then like one time I, I raced through the insemination, <laughs> and I hit a car, and it was we was trying to figure out whose fault it was. If it was did he run the, the, in, the insemination or did I run the insemination? You know, sometimes the <laughs> inseminations. It's like, ah, I'm all confused yeah. about this goddamn insemination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's get oh. some uh, entertainment news before we get Francine. Oh, out of here. where's our entertainment news uh, music? <clears throat> ah, and now Francine with the entertainment news. Francine. A group of Love rabbis in Jerusalem have accused Madonna of sacrilege and hinted at a divine punishment if she proceeds with a plan to include a 
tie-in to a 16th century Jewish mystic on her new album that our rabbis claim there is a prohibition on Jewish law against using the holy name of our master, the sage Isaac, for profit. Said They said this is an inappropriate act and one can feel pity at the punishment that she receives from heaven. I say to these rabbis, relax your nerves with some matzo balls and some Torah. Because I seriously doubt Madonna gives two shits about your feelings. Bravo. You know what's great is that punk in the scene. See, people think you're dumb. But it's genius that she actually has the, the state of mind to be racist. <laughs> like she knows racial slurs. Yeah, and yeah. Calm your nerves, yeah. you Jew idiots. <laughs> I, speaking of racism, uh, i I got to quickly move along here because we're running out of show. Carmen Electra, that's the big story today. For oh, scene. yeah. You want to read that? We even uh, highlighted the good parts for you. Carmen Electra apparently blurts out the N-word during X. Static moments in the bedroom. So claims ex NBA star Dennis Rodman, who has married to the Baywatch babe for eight days in the late 1990s. In his memoir, I Should Be Dead by Now, uh, due in November. Take it and go ahead, take it, Electra allegedly screamed during their first romp in Toronto Hotel. You, 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 I think you misread that. Oh, really? Because it's Dennis Rodman's, um, Dennis Rodman saying what she used to scream out in bed. Oh! That's what she used to say. Okay, okay he said, take it, take it, the N-word, go ahead, take it. Right, say the N-word, you, you're allowed. Be proud, I, think, say I don't think she knows what the N-word is. No. <laughs> it's, it's nugget. <laughs> What's the N-word? It's nigger. Oh, <laughs> oh, she even made that sound. little potty mouth. <laughs> it's nigger. She even yeah. made that word. Potty oh, mouth. Oh. See, if white people said it like that, I wouldn't be so mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nigger. All right. Thank it's you, Craig. It's so cute. Get some money. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's, a big, that's a big story today with Carmen Electra. So. Yep. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to wrap up the show with a couple of what did we learn. Charles in Dallas. Charles, what did you learn on the show today? I learned that Grizzly is the capital of Canada. Happy birthday, Patrice. <laughs> Happy birthday, Patrice. All right. Let's say hi to Jack in Staten Island. Jack. What's up, guys? Hey. Today I learned that I had intersection with my girl last night. Oh, congratulations. All right, thanks. Good for you. All right, Howie in New York. Hoo-hoo, tell him, Fred. I <laughs> learned that I'm never going to break the law just in case Francine would become my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine that's your court-appointed uh, attorney. Josh what in Oklahoma. What did you do? <laughs> I learned that Patrice is going to have to suck Francine's pussy a long ass time to suck the stupid out of her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> wow, the listener's I'm... real good today. Prozac. I learned with time and mental abuse, a girl will become your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned Patrice will lick the stupid dumbness out of Francine. Uh... <laughs> Francine, you did a great job today. Absolutely. I'm sorry we ran out of time. You'll have to come back sooner than later, okay? Can I plug? I'm going to be at a comedy show. Go ahead. Where? Uh, New York Comedy Club on Wednesday at 8 o'clock in New York. Performing? Yeah, she, she's trying to do a little comedy. Play. Are you really? Doing yes. a little stand-up. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> Patrice. Ooh. Thanks for the plug. I want to thank Patrice O'Neill for stopping in today. He Absolutely. did a great job. Yeah, Bang up job. Are you anything? Nah, I was supposed to be in Arizona uh, at the uh, improv, but they canceled me because the opening act was black and said too many black guys. Oh, <laughs> All right, the whole stage. <laughs> Norton returns tomorrow. Bye, pumpkin. Party.